And finally, let's jump into it. Ohio State is in at number six. Uh, Notre Dame is number five. Somehow Baylor did not move up to number six. I I, I got no idea. Like it, how no, how could you no, not? Why would they? Why would they? With Ohio State being there, come on, man. They're well, going to just... protect the brand. This is these people are the most corrupt sons of bitches the world has ever seen. It's it's right? just ridiculous. Like there are people that run FIFA that look at the NCAA and be like, "Damn, y'all got some <laughs> balls, man." <laughs> Y'all got some balls. Yeah. We at least tried to hide some of this shit with some, like, you know, billionaire oil money from the Middle East. But, damn, you Casey, guys don't even hide it. Casey jumped in and said uh, Notre Dame will smoke Ohio State. Notre Dame won't play Ohio State. Ohio uh, State's going to be in the room. Ohio State. Like, it'll, yeah. it'll be Ohio State and Utah, and that could be very interesting because Utah uh, plays a lot ooh, like Michigan. I'm, I'm re- I was just about to say, I'd be real curious to see the line on that game because I bet Ohio State oh, yeah. gets a big number. Probably so, but I, I will double guarantee digits? you this. Do you think they get double digits? I will bet Utah. 10? No, I bet it's. I bet it's like seven, eight. Okay, I that, was thinking. I guess. was thinking. I was thinking more than seven, maybe ten. No, but similar, similar to the uh, to the Michigan line. Yeah. But I, I think I'll be betting Utah. I guarantee you that. Oh well, yeah. I don't. I don't care the number. I yeah. think they might be the better team. So Cincinnati gets in as as the four seed. So we're we're good there. Uh, now we just wait to see. Like uh, Georgia, I would imagine is three. So we got to figure out is Alabama or Michigan number one or number two. Um, so all right, while we're waiting on this, let's talk about this. Yeah. I actually think if I'm the college football committee, I want to see that SEC championship game again. I don't care that it just happened. It's not going to happen for another month. Let's let these two teams revamp and let's run it. Let's back. run it again. I'd put them as the semifish. I, I would make them two and three. And so I would. It, and what you do to appease the rest of the football is you guarantee that you don't get an all SEC championship game. Yeah. No, I, that's so TJ Reeves actually hit me up uh just 10 minutes before we did the show and was like, "Yeah, Alabama Cincy and Michigan Georgia is going to be two fascinating games. It's going to be awesome." And I was like, "You know, there is a world where they don't like they would prefer that the national championship not be an all SEC final." Well, I also think there's a world where they really want to try to get Michigan in that thing. And they yeah. think Michigan, in, in Cincinnati, you got a chance. You got a chance to get Michigan there. And I mean, Michigan's got a chance to get there, whether they're playing Georgia or whether they're playing. I, com- I completely like, agree. But if you if you're a if you're the people that run this thing, don't think of us. Think of the people that run this thing. If you're trying to manipulate the outcome, you don't care. Bama or Georgia are both going to bring the same amount of eyes. Bama and Georgia are both going to bring the same part people to the party. All right? You probably would rather Georgia because of the Bama fatigue, but you don't really care. Yeah. Michigan's who you really want. And if you're the people that run this thing, you have this assumption oh, by the that way, Michigan it, let me, is let me, significantly less than. Let me dive in. Yeah. So strength of schedule, Alabama fourth, Michigan 21st. Strength of record, Alabama first, uh, Michigan second. And versus FPI top 40 teams, Michigan 5-1, and one, Alabama 9-1. and one. They're probably going to give this to Alabama, I would imagine. Yeah, no, no because I, I don't think they want to see the SEC game. But like I said, I, I, I think I would rather get that game. A, you know you're going to do a monster number. Oh, yeah. And – and B, then you've you've got the assuming factors. The betting favorite should be Michigan over Cincinnati. So the the you've got that concept of getting Michigan to a national championship game. Yeah, uh, Gary Lewis jumped in. Ideal wish for SEC teams to square off in first round. Hashtag yep. SEC fatigue. Uh, yep. Casey said Michigan scares me way more than Bama and Georgia. I mean, why? Like I. Uh, I do think I do think there's a world where Michigan might be the best team in the country. Oh yes, absolutely. I, mean, I, I, I know what we saw um, from Bama yesterday. I I just understand that I've got a I've got twelve other games that says that that's not who they are all the time. Agreed. I assume they'll be that in a month because yeah. they'll have a month to get ready for their opponent. But I'm just saying we've got enough resume to say that hasn't been them for twelve games. Agreed. It was, oh, absolutely it was agree. It was them for that game, but that's it. And that's uh, if we're just if we're talking players. Like that's it, both of those teams, Alabama and Georgia, both, and there it is, Alabama number one. So, uh, Bama against Cincinnati, probably in Dallas, I would imagine, and yeah, Michigan, Georgia Miami. will be in Miami. That's yep. going to be a fun, fun ball game. Jim Harbaugh against Kirby Smart. Man, I am excited about this. Uh, Casey said yes. Cincy versus Bama, baby, easy money. Bama are posers. 
I, I mean, I can't compl- I, I, I can't contradict any of that. Who knows? I'll so. step in front of those two trains. I got no problem with that. <laughs> so, Alabama, number one, Michigan two, Georgia three, Cincy four. I mean, obviously, we don't have to break this down. we got a long time to do this, but fascinating. Like, Alabama yeah. against the first G5. To me. I mean, this is, this is the most predictable playoff we've had in a long time after, after this week. Yes, yes. This was the the easiest top four that we've had uh, at the end of this. In, but not in just quite top some time. four. Like, I think everybody in the country had this ranking for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Or they thought this was going to be the ranking. I don't know that they had this ranking if they were honest with themselves. Yeah. But, like, if um, we're looking pure. So, here's the thing. They did here's just the announce, by the way, at, Bama, since he is Dallas, and Michigan, Georgia is in the, the Orange Bowl. Right. They just announced. So, here's, 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 like, if you're looking pure resume, like best loss, best loss is Georgia, but they didn't win their conference championship. So if conference championships has to matter, then Georgia has to be fourth. Okay. All right. If you're looking at best loss, then you have to put Cincinnati number one. And you still get Cincinnati, best, Georgia now. Best win? It, you, well, n- no. best best loss because Cincinnati didn't have a loss. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I got you. I got you. All right. Now, if you're looking at best win outside of Bama and Georgia, Bama probably has the worst loss of them all. Not probably. Bama does have the worst loss of them yeah. all. Like it's it's not even close. But but you know, so so that would have them probably third if you were looking at pure resume and just breaking this thing down. And so so Cincinnati Georgia has, didn't have a good win on the season at all. No, Georgia but like they've got two top twenty five wins, but I don't think they've got a single top twenty win. Alabama's got two top ten wins, uh one of them top five, and that Ole Miss is number seven. They were I think. eight. They were well, eight. They were I would eight. imagine they'll move up over Oklahoma State, but we'll see. I would guess so too. So so you've got two top seven wins for Alabama. You've got Michigan with a big win over Ohio State and and they've got other like good wins. Who do you but, think Ole Miss will play in the uh, in the Sugar Bowl? Notre Dame? Baylor? No, Baylor. Baylor won the Big Twelve. Play Baylor? Yeah, it's a, it's okay. it's the Big Twelve versus but SEC. Notre Dame is, hang on, but Notre Dame has played in the Rose Bowl several times. In the, in the Sugar Bowl, you mean? Sugar Bowl, I mean. It, so it, this this was actually a recent thing that was done like several years ago that it was the Big Twelve versus the SEC champions, and they did it much the same. So that I guess they, that's when the Big Twelve champion makes it to the playoff. Then, then they it's don't a, have a backup. To take the second. Well, typically but it's a backup. You could take Notre Dame after that. Yeah, you could take Notre Dame after that. Yeah. Okay. That, I, that, that, I'm fine with that. I, I would have rather seen Ole Miss and Notre Dame. But yeah, I agree. I'm okay with that. But it'll, it'll be Ole Miss against Baylor. So Lane Kiffin against Dave Aranda. That uh, that could be a really interesting matchup. Yeah. Uh, aside from that, I mean, like the the Orange Bowl, like not the the Miami playoff game, but the actual Orange Bowl uh, that will be played yeah. after that. I think that will be Pitt. Against probably Notre Dame. I don't want to see that. Notre Dame's going to destroy Pitt. So that's a, that's more than likely what that one will be. Uh, the see, Peach Bowl. Sucks. But I don't even know what the Peach Bowl might be. We got we got to get rid of tie-ins. We just got to let these bowls like everybody gets a, an order. Okay, you get first pick, you get second pick, you get third pick. And you just draft two teams. Just build matchups. This is what we got to get to. We got to get rid of this tie-in bullshit. So. You figure Oklahoma State gets into one of these New Year's Six games? I would imagine they do. Probably, probably because the people who run this need the Big 12 to still be seen as the Power 5 Big 12. So if you got Oklahoma State playing in the... If you've got them... Yeah, you get Oklahoma State in the Peach Bowl, then you put them up against... I don't know, Michigan State? I mean, that would work. I guess it's not a super sexy matchup, but the only other one might be BYU. Uh, but because there's no conference affiliation, I would imagine you'll probably just get Michigan State there. So, and Michigan State's ranked above BYU anyway, and I don't think that they're going to drop Oklahoma State super far. So, I mean, they're, they're going to announce the uh, the bowl matchups. All the rest like of them will happen today. We'll yeah, it'll all happen today. So, Casey jumps in Ritter versus Hutchinson for the title. I, hey, it'd be a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun. We'll see. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.